Thank you so much, Sister Peg, Dr. Sue, Idzak, all of the trustees, the Adrian Dominican sisters, all of the community leaders that are here, all of you that support this incredible university and this incredible nursing program. Uh, I'm so honored to be here with my friend and mentor, Carl Levin. And it's, I must tell you, it is great to be your congressman. It's great to be um, a peer, if I can use that word, but certainly an ally of yours in Washington with Carl Levin, and also our, our friend and colleague, Debbie Stabenow, who is also... I mentioned her, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But she is our, our, our friend, our partner and colleague, and uh, this is personally a very satisfying moment for me. Um, I was counting the days uh, on the calendar for some reason yesterday uh, of how many days I've been in office. It's 92 today. And to be able to stand here uh, as a brand, well, a new member of Congress, but even sort of rewinding uh, some uh, 60 or, or 70 days or so early in the process when my leaders in the U.S. House, appropriations leaders and others said, what do you think about the 2009 budget that hadn't been finished? Um, uh, the prior Congress hadn't finished its work. I hope we do a better job of that, Carl, this year. Uh, but uh, the bulk of the appropriations bills for this current year, the year that started October 1st, weren't finished. There were many items that were proposed by individual members of Congress and, and others. So I was asked about projects within the 7th Congressional District, what I thought. And um, uh, I was supportive of those projects that my predecessor, uh, Mr. Wahlberg, had put in. Um, and, but further, uh, I, I can't tell you how enthusiastically I told uh, the leaders in Congress uh, that, uh, that, that how important these initiatives were, and particularly this initiative here at Siena Heights University. Um, and, um, uh, and, and one of the reasons why we all are customers of healthcare, right? Whether currently or formerly or in the present, we can all count on that. Um, to me, it's very personal uh, when it comes to nursing. Uh, my mother was a nurse, and I want to note that uh, Sister Peg and Sue have been in my office already in Washington talking about broadly what's happening at Siena Heights, but specifically about this program. Uh, my oldest daughter is a nurse, actually a labor and delivery nurse. Um, my 93-year-old mother-in-law is a nurse. My niece, cousins, I've got a lot of nurses in my family. But I was thinking this morning about my mother, who was um, uh, retired, uh, but was trained sort of in the old school. Uh, and I think that's what healthcare is coming back to. It's really focused on the patient. It's focused on the individual. It's making sure that healthcare is delivered in a humane way, in a personal way, and with a focus on quality. And I know that's what the nursing program at Siena Heights University is all about. And that's why I was so proud to support and vote for uh, we, we voted for this bill, um, and uh, not everybody did, I will note, but uh, enthusiastically did. That uh, means $428,000 this year for this amazing program. Um, what I also want to say, and I know Senator Levin is supportive as well, uh, just last week we had a deadline to officially put our name sign our name on the dotted line of congressionally directed funding for the 2010 year. And because of the good work of your leadership at Siena Heights University, uh, we were e easily convinced to support another appropriation for next year of $1 million for the nursing program.
going to need all of your help to do your lobbying. Yeah, you don't. You obviously don't have to lobby me or lobby Carl, but uh, there are lots of ways to do that. And also want to say that uh, um, this is a university that has a vision, and I like to think now in Washington we have a vision for how we want to rebuild our economy and, uh, and strengthen our country. But one area uh, that uh, you've developed as a vision is in the area of homeland security and emergency preparedness. And we're also supporting uh, a million dollar appropriation to help develop that center, which will be a cutting edge training program that will help prepare workers and help create important jobs that we need. So when it, we sort of all bring this back to why we're here, Siena Heights University is an educational institution, an amazing educational institution with uh, a unique special foundation, but ultimately it's about your customers. It's about the people, uh, whether they are just graduating from high school, whether they are uh, uh, returning uh, uh, to the workforce, whether they've been, whether they may be a displaced auto worker, they're looking for an opportunity. You provide those opportunities in an incredible, incredible way. And so it ultimately is about strengthening our economy. And I can think of no uh, single more important we can investment that we can make in strengthening our economy than in education. So that's why we're here to to invest in people, invest in quality health care, invest in a field where we need, uh, uh, there's a, a need for 30,000 nurses uh, nationwide, and you're going to help meet that need. You're going to put people to work in a way that's going to uh, help people's lives and provide health care that is second to none. So it's an honor to be here today. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you.